just about ready for this opener, the Qatar Prix de Chardonnay. They're off and racing. Ian Bartlett's got the call. Uh, restrained, as also is Duke of Sessa. They're the last couple to get going. Uh, the extreme left in the distinguishing blue cap is Fazol. Nearest to us is while you were sleeping, the grey filly, who is the leader as they pass the winning post the first time. The nose banded Al Karim in the white jacket is about a length and a half behind and runs in second place. Uh, these are followed by La Mehana. It's a very pale jacket, a darker cap for this filly who's been backed on or in on course to go off favourite. She's alongside the blue cap of Fazol. Uh, then comes Duke de Sessa. It's a beige jacket, darker sleeves. The last couple of runners, the right of this picture is Ermeli. Darker spots on a mauve jacket. Races alongside Sober in the blue and white jacket, the white cap. So they run on down the back side of the course. They've settled down. They've got about seven, eight lengths first to last here as while you were sleeping continues to have the advantage. Uh, off to the left there, the noseband of Al Karim. Uh, leader might have slowed him a bit here, gets a little bit keen, Al Karim, in second place. And then with the blue cap is Fazol, moving up to almost dispute second place. La Mahana, Christian de Merlo, now two lengths behind those. She's halfway down the field, the local favorite, and showing in fourth place. Duke de Cesar in dark sleeves is around the outside of Sober with a white sleeve jacket and a length and a half, maybe even two lengths, in fact, to uh, Melly at the rear of the field. They make their way down towards uh, the top end of the course and the gentle swing right-handed soon back towards home. Few changes in the order. The lead continues to be with while you were sleeping. Still has the advantage by a length and a half or so to a strongly going Al Karim in second place. Uh, then Fazol is another length and a half behind running in third. There'll be two lengths behind those to La Mahana. La Mahana is followed by Sober against the running rail, off the rail next to her or about three parts of a length uh, behind her, is uh, Duke de Sessa. And then Ermeli up on the rails has, in fact, improved one position now as they make their way down towards the false straight and on their way to home. So about six lengths now between them. While he was sleeping, continues to have the advantage, leads by just over length. Al Karem is poised off the running rail now, leading in, in second position. Then comes Fazel and Sober, who are now racing together. Sober, the white cap Guion against the running rail, making progress towards the leaders. The favorite, La Mahana's won from the right with the white face, appears to still go okay, but Amelia has joined her and Duke de Sessa is the back marker. Uh, while he was sleeping, surrenders the lead and the noseband of Al Karim has taken it up now. Sober's right on its tail, Fazel is there, one from the right is La Mahana coming with her challenge and now Duke de Sessa on the extreme right also comes with her challenge. The blue cap of Fazel, the white cap of Sober between those Al Karim, the two down the center are slowly trying to get there, La Mahana of the mauve jacket, the dark sleeves of Duke de Sessa. Al Karim, though, and Soba. It is this pair inside the last 100 metres. Very tight between them. Duke de Sessa flying at them. Al Karim with the noseband. Might, might only have just got there to Soba with Duke de Sessa on the outside of those slowly coming down the track into third position.